it is hot as fuck. Oh. So if I start to sweat profusely, I do have a fan in front of me so that I can be in this room because I have two air conditioning units and one is downstairs and one is in my master. So this is the room upstairs that does not have air conditioning and it just so happens that this is the way the sun comes in in the afternoon. So yeah, that's great. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee and ultimately what I intended on doing was not only showing you guys what I got from the Sephora sale, but kind of using a few of the products, maybe doing some swatches, a little stuff like that. By the way, I sure hope you can tell I'm wearing clothes. If I don't look like I am, I'm definitely wearing a leopard strapless dress that's old and from Forever 21. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So, but since it is probably 85, 90 degrees in here right now, we might just be kind of going over, showing you guys what I got, not at all bragging, just gotta throw that out there. Um, by the way, Seattle, MUA Renee on Instagram, that's where I am most of the time. I'm trying to be more consistent on here, but... You know, it's just, it's hard getting it all figured out with Instagram and Facebook and the business and Snapchat and Twitter and fucking YouTube. Like, I'm just drowning in social media. So, I want to show you what I bought. <laughs> and also, just FYI, not that it really matters and not that I even need to tell you guys this because, frankly... I don't actually need to tell anyone my financial situation. You know, everything is not always as it seems. So I do want to point out that I did have a gift card that definitely helps me out in this situation. Otherwise, I would have gotten like two lipsticks. Just saying. So if you guys want to see what's in this box, then just keep watching. Let's get in here. So there's only one thing that I have taken out of the packaging and used today, which is the Jouer Rose Gold Palette. I was initially going to get the Too Faced uh, the newer natural lust palette, but I have the first one. And to be honest, I don't really find myself reaching for it. And it was more expensive than this guy. And I'm one of those weirdos that spends like an hour on the Sephora app reading everyone's else's, everyone else's reviews even though that's kind of my job too. But I like to kind of see what other people have to say about a product and that helps me judge if I want to buy it. So the Too Faced one didn't get all that good of reviews. If any of you guys have it and have an opinion about it, let me know in a comment below because I am still kind of like, should I get it? Should I not get it? Anyways, so I got this one and it got really good reviews. I did use it today, so I will be getting this look up on Instagram tonight, hopefully, fingers crossed, and hopefully this video up tonight or tomorrow. Um, so my mom flies in tomorrow for Mother's Day. I'm excited to spend the day with her. Mom, if you're watching, hi, love you, can't wait to see you. Anyways, let me show you this palette. I'm all over the place. This is what happens when it's like 85 out in Seattle. 
So I'm just going to show it upside down because that's easier for me and you're just going to have to deal with it. I know that I'm not so good at these close-ups and my camera has trouble focusing. Hopefully that gives you a kind of good idea of what it looks like. And let me just do a couple. So this, these kind of almost remind me of the Natasha Denona shadows um, as far as quality and pigmentation. I mean, look at this. So just, this is the yellow shade down there. And we'll just go like that. As you can see, just so pigmented. And it's a mix of mattes and shimmers. So I love that. I love the color story. And I just feel like you can do a lot with this palette. It gives you a lot of choices. And the mattes are really creamy and blendable. And the shimmers are not like glittery they're more like just kind of like a shimmery matte if that makes any sense so that is one thing the one thing that I have used other than that all the rest of the stuff I haven't even taken out of the packaging so let's get into this this video is going to be long I'm not going to be able to demonstrate everything but what I can do is kind of let you guys know, maybe after I've tried everything, do a little like recap or a update of how I like these products. If that's something you'd be interested in, give me a thumbs up. Let me know below. Otherwise, I won't know what you guys want me to do with this shit. I mean, ideally, I know what you want me to do. <laughs> I get it a lot on Instagram. I know that there's probably people watching this that are going to, in their minds, think, I know what you should do. You should send it to me. You don't need all this makeup. You have all this makeup. But, moving on. Let us start with, since we're on the eyeshadow train, I got two more of these Huda Beauty matte and metal melted shadows. Whew, that's a mouthful. Mouthful. Ow, tongue salad. Mm -hmm. So I have two of these already and you guys, OMG. The mattes are just so amazing. And then the other side is a brush that has the metal or the glitter and the glitter is more like the Stila ones it's more of a opaque and very pigmented shimmer so this is bubble bath and pink champagne so I'm gonna be a mess by the time this video is done let's just do it this way so, just so you can see just how flippin' pigmented, wow, I'm having trouble. And also how white my arm is compared to the other side. <laughs> I got a tan walking the dogs. Um, and so, this is the glitter side. Just so beautiful. I almost used this today, but as you can see, I didn't. I'm not going to open the other one and swatch it. Why didn't I not bring any? Okay, I'm gonna have nothing to wipe my hands on. I'm just gonna pick this up, you know. Go like that for now. So, and this one is the really light uh, beige faux fur and bamboo hoops, bamboo hoops interesting name. I have hoops and I always wear hoops, but anyways. So, oh, let's see here. I have been wanting to try 
the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and the new setting spray. So this is just a little trial size of both. I think it was like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. So this is a really good option if you want to try them out like me. And we can be Marc Jacob priming and fixing twins. So I am excited to give that a whirl. I love the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, which any of you guys are from Instagram, you know this already. It's not a secret. Cat's out of the bag. I also picked up this limited edition Marc Jacobs Runway Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. So, super cute packaging too. I have heard mixed reviews on this guy, so let's let's see what we got up in here. Okay, that's nice that it comes with protection because I will just show it to you guys like this. So it's a very light kind of yellowy champagne. And then I brought my Anastasia A23 brush. This is what I always use for highlighting. So, um, yeah, whatever. I am just going to put some of this on. I have highlighter on already, as I'm sure you can tell. This, I'm wearing the Dior Backstage Highlighting uh, Kit, the, the one with the pink and the, you know, you know that one. So let's just put a little bit of this on top and see what it does, and then I can also See, the problem is I already have on highlighter, so it's hard to tell, like, what, hmm, oh, that's cute, what I'm wearing already and what is new. So let's just put a little bit on my collarbone here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, in my eyes, that's pretty freaking pigmented. I can't see down that part. Probably oh, looks really awkward when I do it too. Um, I have other sparkly shit in there, so I want to save my other collarbone for that. So uh, yeah, I'm actually really liking this so far, even though I just have it right here. But we will try it on my face on another day where I'm not wearing highlighter already and let you know. Next up, I picked up one of the Fenty Beauty, the new bronzers. I have been wanting this, and I was just waiting for the sale to hit so that I could get it. And I got the shade Island Ting. Island Ting. You know, I love how she names everything, but let's be real. We don't always know how to pronounce it. Oh, beautiful packaging. Yeah, Island Ting, I hope. So, and this was said to be good for light to medium with neutral undertones. I almost bought a lighter one but I feel like this is a little more unique of a shade compared to things that I have. And with summertime upon us, especially in Seattle, it went from winter to summer, like zero to hundred real quick. And so I get pretty tan. And so I thought I would get a little shade darker. I don't want to touch it, but I'm going to for you guys. Okay, let's put it on the pale arm side here. That's so creamy, too. I don't notice a scent. So, 
you're one of those people that doesn't like scents, you won't have to worry about that. I will definitely keep you guys posted. I'll be using that faux show. What else we got for cheeks? We got, I got one of the Laura Mercier color infusion blushes and I got this in grapefruit which I know has a little bit of a sheen to it. I just thought it would be super pretty for summertime. Oh, I'm back. That memory card is full, so that's awesome. But don't you worry, I have another one that's in the camera right now, obviously. So I think the last thing I was showing you was this Laura Mercier blush in grapefruit. Don't know why I said it like that. But I just had to have this color perfect for summer, spring. The reviews on these guys were really, really, really good. I was going to pick up another one of the Buxom blushes because I have one and I loved that so much. But... I don't have any of these Laura Mercier, so I went this route instead. That is so pretty. Really beautiful, pinky, peachy, grapefruit color. That is that. And I got the Huda Beauty, one of these new lip tins. I believe this one is nude. Go figure. So this has the full-sized pencil and then a liquid matte and a demi-matte. I think these are around 25 So it's a really good value, especially considering the lip liner is a full size so yeah plus I just love the little containers I mean I can't lie and then I picked up two of her power bullet matte lipsticks I don't have any of these yet I have heard great things I got the colors joyride and interview nudes go figure I actually want to take a pick with these guys, so I am not going to swatch them, but I can at least open them and show you what they look like. Okay, so this one is Joyride. Stay there. That is Joyride. And then Interview, I believe, is a little bit warmer. Yes. And that one, <laughs> that's going to do a whole lot of good. And that one is Interview. So I am excited to try these guys out. I've heard great things, although. I actually don't think I've tried anything from Huda that isn't amazing. In fact, I'm wearing the liquid matte in Icon on my lips. And her liquid matte formula is my favorite. So if you want one that isn't drying, that isn't going to cost a lot of money. I mean, they're 20 bucks, 19 or 20, but the quality is just, just amazing. Like they don't feel dry and my lips are very dry, like the Sahara Desert. So if I don't feel dry with them on, you won't. I could be in an infomercial, couldn't I? I knew I could. And then we have a few sprays. So I got the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I'm excited to try this guy out. 
I have the Anastasia, oh, you know, it looks like the uh, YSL primer, but it's not. Come on, Sprayer, come on. It has a really nice light scent to it. Not sparkly, but we'll see. We'll see. I've heard good things. So hopefully people didn't steer me wrong. And then super excited about this. It came in stock just and I, I had to react quickly when I got the in stock notification because these Patrick taught the I got the one in pink pearl. We love her. These just, I needed it. It just needed it. It's basically all there is to say about that. Let's try this. I need a mirror. Otherwise I'm gonna be spraying and I don't know where it's gonna go. And that could be dangerous. That's a dangerous game to play. Let's put a little bit on uh, this oh, nice hoops there. Let's just, oh wow, that is gorgeous. You know, I'm kind of glad that I got the pink one. Let me get you up close and personal to my shoulder because I feel like, you know, most of the things that I have are like gold champagne. So that's why I was excited for the pink one and now I'm even more excited. I can just imagine this on my legs, all tan and glowing and, you know, just tan and glowing and going out and Having people be like, oh my god, her legs are so shiny and pretty. I just, I can feel that in my future. I know it's going to happen. I called it. I also got the Glow Oil. I thought these were the Glow, oh yeah, the Glow Motions. And I was on the same bandwagon of color choices so instead of getting like a champagne or a gold I got the more iridescent kind of like unicornish mermaidish let me get you the official name that they call it yep that's not it um yeah I I can't read really I'm I'm actually going to get my eyes checked on Monday because I really can't see shit I mean I can see shit don't worry I can yeah, just not a whole lot not not the details but I'll figure out the name for you later oh, let's see here I don't want to have too much come out oh okay I need a mirror again Let's just put uh, that right here. This smells so good. Okay. We're just, you know what? We're just going to go for it. And yes, I am a little, little pink. Don't worry, you guys. I know I have a lot of people that will be concerned and say, oh my gosh, you need to take better care of your skin and wear higher SPF. But the truth is, I actually tan really, really, really easily. It's just that uh, this was walking the dogs right before I started filming. And initially, my chest always gets red for some reason, as you can see, like, Arms, legs, never red, but chest always. So, where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it's over here. 
Okay, two more lip products and we're done. I wanted to try one of these. I should have grabbed a uh, makeup wipe or something while I got the other memory card, but I didn't, so whatever. The Too Taste Peach Puff Long Wearing Diffused Matte Lip Color. Say that like five times fast. I bet you can't. Why don't I just drop it? And what color did I get? Let's see if I can read the name. Ah, I can. It's stoked, and I'm stoked I can read it. These just seemed different to me. So, and they are very different. Kind of reminds me of like uh, one of those concealer, like, you know, the um, Maybelline Age Rewind, how it has this. Good drugstore concealer too, by the way. Um, is it ever gonna come out? I'm gonna go through this memory card too. Ah, 